Okay, this movie wasn't planned at all, but this is the way it turned out. Um, why not to fit a cheap scope onto a spring piston air rifle? So the rifle in question is a Diana Model 34. And it's fitted with a Nico Sterling Special 4x32 scope. <coughs> so it's been a while since it's been fired and it's, it's an old rifle. I've had it a long time. So I'm going to put it through the chronograph just to see how it's holding up. So the first couple of shots are going where I'm aiming. So I think all is good. So in the mid 400 feet a second range, um, that's about half what it should be when it was new. So the spring's worn, it's weaker than it should be. Um, the seals are probably worn as well. So that accounts for the loss of power over the years. Now this is where things start going a bit stray. So that pellet hit way low, then one up high, then a bit to the right, and then just clips to the bottom of the steel. So I'm just listening for the ding and I'm assuming it's hitting where I'm aiming. And that one's a bit higher. Now I've just blown the side off my chronograph. And you know where the next shot's going to go, don't you? So that cheap scope just cost two or three hundred dollars for a new chronograph. And I've got to do that before my dad finds out because it was his. So why are air rifles particularly tough on scopes? Well let's look at its recoil in slow motion. And I'll compare it to our 22 long rifle as shown below. You might need to replay that a few times to see what's going on. So when slowed down the 22 just comes across as a gentle push. Whereas the air rifle moves back, then it's jolted forward and vibrates. And it's that two-way recoil action that's capable of shaking scopes to pieces. And it has everything to do with the spring pushing the rifle back, then the piston hammering the rifle forward. So the scope's no good anymore. And you can see where the ring's been wearing into the side of the scope, which suggests a bit of uneven mounting as well. Though to be fair it has lasted about a decade on that rifle so while I say don't put a cheap scope on there you're not going to want to put a, an expensive scope on there and put it through the same treatment anyway so you probably are better off taking your chances with a cheap scope preferably designed for air rifles. <laughs> 